Hello and welcome back to part two of my MailWiz setup tutorial. Here I am inside of my MailWiz admin dashboard and let's take a look at the getting started steps from MailWiz documentation. In part one of my review and setup tutorial, I already showed you how to set up the cron jobs. Okay, the first thing you want to do is go to your cPanel hosting dashboard right here under email section here, click on email accounts and now here click on create and then give it a username and a password okay just like this right here just a username and a password and then if you see this option right here edit settings you can adjust uh, your storage space but importantly you need to check this right here send a welcome email with instructions to set up a mail client to make sure that's checked and enable click on create now locate the address that you just created right here my mailer address click on check email you will see the screen right here just select uh, round cube is on by default and then you can click here to check open my inbox when i'm logged in and then click on open okay now take a look at the first email this is the welcome email that was sent and this will show you your SMTP information like your port numbers, outgoing, incoming. You will need this while setting up your delivery server. Now let's go back to the MailWiz dashboard. Click on servers and then let's set up the bounce server first. Now here click on create new. Now here we need to fill out these information and you can find that from your welcome email right here. So let's fill that out. And basically you only need to fill out the host name, username, and password. By default, these settings were already set up. IMAP, port 143, and all of these already by default. If there are different numbers, so you check your welcome email here. If say you have a different port number, it's not 143, then you will need to change that or a different service, POP3 for instance. But otherwise, uh, everything looks good. Let's click on save changes. Okay, it has successfully been saved. And I forgot to mention that the host name is right here, mail dot whatever your website is, just like that. Now let's go to delivery servers and then click on create new server. And we have a lot of options here and you can choose to use multiple ones or, and that's what I recommend using multiple uh, SMTP or, and definitely use Amazon and MailWiz when sending out your emails uh, can automatically rotate between these services. For today's tutorial, I just want to set up the SMTP and I will be using this server that I'm hosting on right now. And basically here, just enter in exactly what you see here in your welcome email right here details. So just enter it here, similar to what was set up in the bounce server. All right, the host name, username, password has been filled out and I gave this a name local SMTP for my local hosting server. Now the ports, it depends on your web hosting details. If you're using SSL or not, it may be different. So for the SSL TLS, the port is 465. So I need to enter that here, 465, and then the protocol TLS. And if it doesn't work for some reason, then switch to SSL. Okay, so next is the from email. You can uh, choose whatever you want from name. Probability of selecting this delivery server. So 100% will use this server 100% of the time. If you have multiple delivery servers, like if you're using Amazon or something, or Amazon and just your local hosting server, then you can do 50-50 or 90, 10, whatever you want. Hourly quota, so this depends on your hosting server. If you're using a shared hosting server, then you can choose a lower amount. It can be between 200 per hour to 2,000 per hour. It depends on your host. You can contact them to find out. And daily quota, you, you can do 10,000 or less to be on the safe side. And a monthly quota, if you have one, or not zero by default is unlimited by default it's zero bound server so we choose the one that was just created and then the rest everything else here you don't need to do anything uh, these are optional so let's go ahead and click on the save 
Now this is the important step right here. Enter in an email to validate or to verify that your server is working. All right, that's my test email, let's validate. Okay, we have this error message right here. Cannot send the verification email. There was a problem, it timed out. So what we can do now is change the setting, the protocol, let's try a different one. And let's do a save. And let's do a validate server again. All right, it works this time, the SSL worked. It sent a confirm uh, email. Now we need to check it and click on the confirmation link. So I sent it to another of one of my emails. Check email, open that up and validate. So you need to click on this validation link right here. Okay, successfully confirmed. Now we have one delivery server set up and you can do uh, the same thing with others right here and again the documentation if you need help uh, refer to that but most of the time for example if you want to do mailgun all you need to do is enter in an api key for most of these servers it's pretty easy to set up now the bounce server is already set up the next one is the feedback loop servers let's create new so let's go here to the documentation so you need to set up these three right here so these three emails most of the email providers out there will send feedback loops to these three emails right here gmail hotmail or yahoo mail for instance they will send it to one of these three so we need to set up three different emails for abuse postmaster and fbl and it is pretty much the same as when you're setting up the bounce server go back to your cpanel email click on create enter in the email right here abuse and then make sure you send yourself the welcome email and then you do that for abuse postmaster and fbl all right i just created one for abuse now i will create the other two all right postmaster is created now one more and the last one fbl is created all right let's go back here and enter in the host name username and password just like we did with the bounce server and by default everything here is already set up for you the service port protocol you only need to enter in the host name username and password and you can leave email blank it's the same as your username and then click on save changes and i forgot to add in this host name that's why it is important to copy and paste rather than typing it in yourself all right and you repeat the same for the other two feedback loop emails postmaster fbl and abuse that's pretty much everything to get started with. Let's visit the main website. Here's my main website at howtowebmaster.com slash mailer. And then when a visitor or user customer comes in here, they can sign up and log in. And when logged in for the first time, they get this welcome message, a tour of all the features. Let's end the tour real quick. Okay. To get started with sending out an email to your campaign, let's create an email list first and now just fill out this information right here the list name description some default information from name from email and down here this is actually mandatory you need your name country and address to comply with the can spam act or can spam policy okay successfully save let's go back to the list right here and you can see your list name right here the first uh, i created a demo list name and you can click here to view all of your subscribers to add some subscribers to this list let's go to here import and you have a few options right here csv or a sql database or text let's do text and the text file can look something like this right here in this demo so just a list of emails and if you want to add more details then use the csv to add in subscribers name location website phone numbers whatever uh, but the text is the simplest way to add in email so i'll just do this for this tutorial i got my demo.txt subscriber list right here let's click on upload and let's go back to the demo list Alrighty, I got a couple of subscribers added. Let's go to the campaign and create a new regular campaign here. Click on create new. Let's give it a campaign name and then choose the list right here, my demo list. 
and everything else you can leave as default save and next and now in this step you can give it a subject name for this email so here's my subject mail is first email and everything else you can leave as default save next and by default your email body is HTML compatible so just enter in your message just like a word document or a regular email okay just like that and you can mess around with the formats the sizes that's up to you and now let's go to save and next and we have a little error up here please fix these errors so here it says you need to add in your company full name and address and unsubscribe URL so let's copy that right here and I will just add it at the bottom near here somewhere let's paste it in okay just like that now save and next okay it works and you can schedule this campaign or use the recurring if you want and now let's click on send campaign and it's gonna be sent really soon and you can see the status right here pending sending as well as some more details right here how many it's sent so far the delivery the open clicks bounce and unsubscribe alrighty it took a few seconds but now the status is now sent 100% and here is the message that was just sent to me works great okay so that's pretty much everything to get started with there are a lot more features and options and you can refer to the documentation and again here is MailWiz highly recommend it almost five stars rating it's a great piece of app for bulk sending emails or starting your own email sending or email marketing service I'll leave a link down below to the MailWiz Code Canyon page here along with uh, you guys can check out the demo in the live preview of the admin and customer dashboard all right thanks so much for viewing my quick start tutorial on MailWiz I hope it helped thanks so much please be sure to subscribe to how to webmaster for more reviews tips and tricks on marketing thanks again and until next time happy marketing